Is a Christian supposed to observe Old Testament dietary laws? Many atheists bring up this question. Well, Barack Obama's mischaracterization that Leviticus suggests eating shellfish is an abomination is subtle, while he is right in suggesting that Leviticus characterizes the eating of shellfish as an abomination. He is wrong in isolating this injunction from its biblical context. If Obama had an adequate appreciation of the rich tradition of biblical Judaism, he may have been far more restrained in his characterization. He has proved a master at rhetoric and emotional stereotypes rather than reason and evidential substance. First of all, a lifestyle consisting of a sensible diet, regular exercise, and sufficient sleep is essential to the health of the body. Moreover, Christians are morally obligated to eat a healthy diet out of respect and gratitude for the body that God has created for us. Thus, whether Christians choose to eat all foods or abstain from certain foods, they should do so to the glory of God. Furthermore, the distinction between clean and unclean foods for ancient Israel symbolized the difference between that which was holy and that which was unholy within the context of a theocratic form of government. As even a cursory reading of scripture reveals, such ceremonial symbolism was fulfilled in Christ who declared all foods clean. Moreover, as the New Testament clearly teaches, Christians are free to eat all foods, including shellfish. Finally, the highly complex nature of the civil, ceremonial, and moral aspects of Mosaic law can hardly be relegated to simplistic, superficial sound bites. Devoid of context, the 21st century mind can only with great difficulty grasp with the significance of biblical typology. Indeed, the ceremonial significance of Mosaic laws makes little sense to someone who is unwilling to read the scriptures within their intended context. Mark 7, 15, 21 through 22 says, Nothing outside a man can make him unclean by going into him. Rather, it is what comes out of a man that makes him unclean. For from within, out of men's hearts come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly.